Welcome back to What Arty Nibs with General Disturbance. This is the KV-2. It's a tier 6 Soviet heavy tank and it's located on the northeast spawn of Glacier under the command of Terry DK. Now it's armed with a 152mm howitzer. It's capable of 910 alpha of penetration of 86mm with standard HG. And we've started the battle. Now it's based on the chassis of the KV-1. The Soviets built these during the um, the Finnish War, the Winter War, and they designed them so that they could actually dispose of the Finnish bunkers. The Finns have actually put up a lot of bunkers, concrete bunkers, and they'd also put a lot of ground uh, tanks, old tanks, into the ground uh, with lots of earth around them so that they could become fixed emplacements. Uh, in fact, actually, they tended to do that with the Soviet T-46, uh, T. Um, 26s that they captured. Anyway, we're headed over to the northwest corner and just have a quick look for targets. Well, there's a looks there at the center line, but Terry's not going to fire, he's going to hold on to his ammunition, and that's mainly because the reload time on this gun is actually quite long. Rate of fire, well, 2.5 rounds a minute, so. I think you can see it's about 20 seconds at the very least to reload. And there's a T14 around that corner. That's a premium American heavy tank. Not in sight though. And I think he must have moved on then might see him appear in that gap slightly off to one side but there is an enemy tank oh there's the t40 there is an enemy tank um up on the carrier i think or is there well there's the looks we can probably one shot him if he comes around that corner he's probably going to want to stay back yeah i think he realizes if he comes around that corner he's going to get obliterated just one shot. He's waiting for us to take a shot before he does that. Oh, here's the T-14. Fires one into our tracks. And here comes the looks. And he bounces all his ammunition off us. So we've blocked 270 hit points off him. Now we can obliterate. Oh, well, the T-14 took... 299 off him and there's another KV-2 around that corner and we are now in reload and the looks will know that now he only penetrated uh, one round there or two rounds sorry no one round but KV-2 managed to get 368 hit points of us and he has broken our fuel tanks and knocked out our driver and that's another 251 off the T-14 and we blocked his round here comes the looks again and yet again he penetrates with one round 56 hit points was that two shots i think it may have been two shots that he penetrated t14 is out the game now that looks is very low on hit points now our teammates have been shooting at him we've got our own looks and an excelsior behind us and we're almost loaded and there's the looks he's pulled back but that's not going to protect him from us we pop around the corner while he's still there there's a fury we're going to shot at him nope there is the kb2 and he's gone nicely done Now I think the next shot will probably be on that Fury. It's got two shots into us. We've only got 169 hit points left and we still got our driver down. But I suspect that, um, that Terry DK might be holding on to his first aid kit just in case he loses his gunner. We'll try and side scrape on the Fury. 
Here we go. And nice hit. 346, but he did take a round for 110. And now he's down to only 59 hit points. So he really can't take, afford to take another shot from that fury. I'll be very cautious. Here we go. Oh no, he missed it. The enemy have only got four tanks left and the Fury is up ahead of us. He's coming in, he's trying to get at us. He knows that we're low on hit points. And we've got one into the tracks there. But he's now got that Excelsior behind him and we're loaded, but the Excelsior killed him. So there's only two enemies left. One's the KV-1 and the other one's the MX-13AM. And the KV-1 is near their cap area. And we don't know where the AMX 13 AM is yet, but we must be somewhere near their cap. Now he could fix his driver now, but I think he needs to worry about some... about losing his gunner. Oh, they've got them all. Yes, SU-85 killed the AMX-13AM. So let's have a look at the end of battle stats. It's a second class tanker for Terry DK in the KV-2 Horizontal RT. He also picked up a Bruiser medal, a Duelist, a Fire for Effect, a Shell Proof. But here comes the good medals. He got a cool headed for surviving having received 10 ricochets or non-penetrating hits in a row. And most of those were from the looks. He survived the battle having received a, a, a deflected shot, or rather that shot that went into the tracks from the Fury, um, and survived with less than 10% of his hit points. Uh, and that was it definitely was the shot from the Fury. Uh, he got a steel wall for blocking the highest amount of damage overall in the game and surviving, and a high caliber for doing the most damage overall in the game. Let's have a look at team score. They go right at the top of the table, 1,541 hit points of damage. Next high scorer was the Excelsior, and he used most of his APCR to deal with those uh, uh, enemy tanks, the, uh, the Fury, and of course that looks. Uh, the next high score after that was the VK-1602 Leopard. He got 806 hit points of damage. When it came to kills, it well, it was shared between uh, the KV-2, the Excelsior Electo, and SU-85. And when it came to base experience points, it's Terry DK again, who got the highest one there. So technically speaking, he's got top in all three columns. 831 base experience points, 752 for the Excelsior, and 720 for the Leopard. So let's have a look at detail. When he fired six shots in that game, he got five direct hits and five penetrations and three splash. Damage of 1,541 hit points. Um, he received 39 hits from the enemy during that game. Seven penetrations, 32 non-penetrations, most of those from the looks. And block damage of 1,000 hit points in total. He spotted one enemy vehicle, damaged three of the enemy, killed two of them and did damage assistance of 96 hit points. On a premium count, he earned 32,081 credits. After repair, ammunition, resupply and consumables, he received 19,943 credits. He received 1,247 XP, times two for the first victory of the day, took away 2,494 experience points altogether. So a very nice little uh, battle there in the KV-2. Quite a big haul of medals, you might say, but it all depended in the end on could he actually deflect that last shot from the Fury and it earned him two awards in the process anyway so uh, very very nice indeed two awards being the Spartan and the Steel Wall so if you enjoyed that replay please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel and hopefully it'll be your replay that I'll be featuring in the next video